Oh, wow. So that's what we're looking at, possibly doing like an RV trip or whatever. OK, that's a good idea. When Danielle first told me about the RV trip, I mean, it was a no-brainer to me. I mean, like, when do we get to go to Blake school and ride the school bus home? And I'm like, well, it's supposed to be in the fall on August, but we shall see. Yeah. I think it's just what's best for them. And, you know, the longer we go without socialization with our kids, with other people outside our family, it's just going to be harder for them. It's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. Hi! It is a beautiful sunny March day here in Minnesota and I am so happy for the sunshine, for a little bit of warmer weather. I hope wherever you guys are, you are taking some time to enjoy the sun. It's been so cold for so many of us for such a long stretch that it's a welcome change for me and I hope you guys are also getting some relief from this big cold snap we just all got through. Okay, so it's March 4th and we have an update on Out Doddard. I want to talk to you guys about this new season. So over the last several months, if you follow my channel, you know that I am a very pro mask. Please social distance, please stay home, please respect the rules, please try to minimize the spread of the germs that are out there. And for me, obviously, it's personal because I have a son that is fragile and high risk. But just in general, I feel like influencers need to do a good job of setting an example to their followers that what we're dealing with is very serious. And there have definitely been families that are on TLC that have seemingly not taken this pandemic very seriously and have sort of like thumbed their nose at the restrictions and kind of just gone about their lives as, as if nothing has changed. And the Busbees have sort of been in that category of women, of families that have sort of been doing their own thing. Now, I find it concerning for a few reasons. They have the quince, all of them were premature babies and if you know anything about preemies, one of the most common like long-term effects of having a preterm baby is that when they're born, they don't, and if they're below a certain like gestational age, their lungs are not fully developed. And so a lot of preemies can develop like childhood asthma. Now, some of the, some of the preemies will outgrow it as they get older, but some don't. And because their lungs are premature, they can have breathing difficulties. And we know a few seasons ago that Ava was actually rushed to the hospital when she was having trouble breathing and she had to get some steroids. So I'm not sure if they are literally like asthmatic or if they've just had some breathing type issues, but we also know that COVID affects the breathing. So you would think that if you know there's a history with breathing difficulty that you would be extra careful with your kids. Now, I'm not here to parent shame at all. My biggest gripe with the Busbees has always just been that they didn't seem to be taking anything very seriously. So if you follow them on social media and on their Facebook, or if you follow them on social media and on their YouTube, you will notice that they're out a lot. They go to the zoo, they take trips, they go on an RV trip, they go, they went like away for no, Thanksgiving with the whole family. They're spending time and mixing households constantly with like with the Mills family. And you know that obviously there's, you know, they want to have like a life where they're not interrupted, right? They don't want to have, they want their kids to have socialization. I think all kids, all parents want that, but they seem to just go out an extra amount of time. Now I understand that they have six kids. They need to keep them busy. They probably get really cooped up at home, but at the same time, it just seems like they go out a lot more than most people have been going out. And then Adam and Danielle, for their parts, have been like seen going out, hanging out with friends, not wearing masks. And all of that has kind of left a bad taste in the mouths of some of their fans. And it's been like a long time. Like I've done several videos of this, of their fans calling them out in comments. Like, wouldn't it be nice if I could do that? Oh, that's so great that you're traveling in the middle of a pandemic. During this entire time on social media, they have been claiming to really care about the pandemic, but they also haven't been honest, I guess, about things that were happening behind the scenes. Because 
on the episode that aired just a couple nights ago on Tuesday night, there was a sleepover. So she, Al, like Blake wanted to go and have a big girl sleepover. And so they arranged for a sleepover for all of the girls to go over to the Mills house and they took care of the kids and they had a great time, right? And then afterwards they have like a big pool party. They play with the kids. I'm not sure the timeline because when these, when these are filmed, sometimes like things will clips that happen before and make it seem like in the sequence of events that happened after. But the way it's presented on the show, it's like they have the, they have this big sleepover. Then the kids go out and play with some of the classmates that they're at from school. Hazel's boyfriend comes over. It's cute. But then at the very end of the episode, when Adam is outside teaching the girls how to, one of the girls how to ride their bike, Danielle comes up to him and is like, Dale's positive for COVID. And we all have to be tested. So Dale has tested positive for coronavirus. What? Yeah, we all have to get tested. So I don't know when Dale tested positive for COVID. It's really unclear. It doesn't show anywhere on his social media that he tested positive at any point in time. I looked through everything and throughout the whole summer, there's photos with the Busbies. You know, there's the four, he has like photos with Hazel in July. They go out in August together, but I don't know when, at what point they actually, he actually had COVID, whether it was in the spring or in the summer. The way that it's presented on the show, it's summer right now if you can put yourself in there. So it's summertime in Texas, it's summer 2020, and that's what we're watching. And they're saying that Dale has COVID and they all have to get tested. You just start to wonder, like they have a YouTube channel and they do a lot of their videos on YouTube where they do outings and they're kind of just like family vloggers, which I actually think is a little bit weird. I can't really figure out what the Busbies wanna do if they, want to have the show on TLC or if they want to do their own thing because they seem to upload things to their YouTube channel and then it shows up on the show. And I don't know if that's like to show like their actual life or the unfiltered or less edited version. I'm not really, it's not really clear to me. There's not a lot of families on TLC that do the same thing. You don't see the Duggars like doing day in the life vlogs at all. I mean, maybe some of the kids, but on Counting On, you don't see the kids for long periods of time. It's like two second clips. So if you go to their YouTube channels, it's specifically for the families. But the Busbies already have a show on TLC and then they're doing this thing on YouTube, which to me is just seems like a, another way to make money, which is fine, but they're doing all of these activities, which is putting them out in the world, which is not keeping them safe. And it's continually exposing them to the virus and they're intermingling houses when really the directive for most people has been to not to try to minimize that now obviously obviously the busbies have had to have their family members come in because of damage from the hurricane there's lots of bit there's been a lot of different issues that you know they've been traveling with their families they've been going this way they've had to take family members in that's the kind of stuff you can't control but what you can control are these play dates that are not necessary or these outings that are not necessary, but in terms of the show would be ne necessary because it makes for interesting TV, but is interesting TV more important than the safety of your children? And is interesting TV more important than actually like doing the right thing for the wider community and staying home? Now I know they get tested regularly for COVID for their show, but testing alone has proven to not be just an effective method for containing the virus because there's evidence that shows that the virus can show up anytime in 14 days. So you can have a negative test and yet still have the virus and then it can show up positive a couple days later. So it's not always an indicator that you are truly negative. There's false negatives. The best way to not spread is by staying home, wearing masks and socially distancing and they don't do that. So I'll be interested to see how this plays out, whether or not they were actually affected or whether or not they were actually positive. But the fact that Dale was positive and then the fact that they all have to get tested and then they continue, despite all of that, to go out knowing the risks, to me just seems really irresponsible. And I know now Texas has literally like no restrictions, which is crazy to me. Nobody is recommending that Texas do this. 
they want to go back to life, um, but they still have really low vaccination rates for the state of Texas. The CDC is recommending that Texas not do this. Businesses in Texas are like super against this directive by the governor. And, you know, at the end of the day, Texas does their own thing, obviously, but these people have a platform and they have a responsibility. And part of me is just like, what are you guys doing? Is all of this fame and attention more important than the safety of your family? And why are you then withholding this information from the public? So if you know that Dale was positive at one point, why isn't Dale putting that out on his social media? Because he hasn't. I looked all over his social media. I didn't see any indication that he had COVID. And then I'm also looking at Danielle and Adam. No place on their social media are they indicating that they were ever exposed to COVID. And that to me is a level of irresponsibility because they're always clapping back at people that say like, I can't believe you're out and about. And they're like, we're fine. You know what I mean? Like, or it's just like really hypocritical. So I would love to know what your thoughts are on all of this. Uh, we'll see next week what's coming up with what they're going to end up like, if they're gonna be positive or whatever. And what do you think about moving forward, what this means for the show or like, and what do you think about this in terms of their n not sharing this with the wider public when they've been facing criticism? That's the part that bothers me. It's the same reason why I'm frustrated that the Duggars have had people that are positive and they haven't been honest about it. Like, just be honest. Don't hide it. Just say you had COVID. A lot of people do. A lot of people have gotten it and they've admitted they've gotten it. Why are you guys withholding this information? That's what I wanna know. And I wanna know why TLC is filming under these kinds of circumstances, knowing that these families are being so risky. Tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below. Bye.